<laughs> God damn it. Okay, well, apparently the bitch has finally quieted down, but hopefully maybe Raisin would be able to help me out. Huh. You could kill it. Alright. You know what? Oh, cool. They could drop sodas. Alright. She finally got it fixed. Raisin! Raisin! Huh? What the hell? Raisin! I'm up here! Hey. I'm up here. Hi. Axe, axe throwing your ex again, I see. <sighs> Just get out some frustrations. Ah, uh, what happened? It's been a while, though. Yeah. Well, what happened with you? <sighs> oh, with this? Uh, well, I know about that, but, uh, you didn't really explain what happened, but you said you were letting out frustrations. What happened? <sighs> Ran into Smolder again. He f bloody fucking yelling at me for, like, telling Razzle, like, dude, I'm like, bloody fucking, I had to. <sighs> As well. You know how close me and Razzle are. I'm aware of it. But, seriously, how long has it been since you two split? I guess it's a bit after, um, Razzle was in prison. So pretty, mu so, pretty much a long fucking time. All I could say is... <sighs> Smolder just needs to move on. All y'all need to chill out. Ugh. Mm. I may not know the details, but seriously, it's getting pretty fucking annoying. No offense. <sighs> and none taken there. So, I didn't really tell you how exactly how this happened, though, did I? Yeah, not necessarily. I thought it was just a cool upgrade. Or an experiment no. that actually gone right. Huh? No. This is the reason why Smolder and I broke up. Really. What the fuck? Did he? So basically, what happened was, well, let's just let's just say Smolder and I had a rather heated argument. That, well, the most heated argument we had in a very long time. Ended up him accidentally. Throwing one of my chemicals in my face. Oh! He, he kept saying he wasn't trying to. It, it was some sort of. I guess he kept pulling off as like a some sort of instinct thing where he just threw some bloody, bloody shit everywhere. <sighs> I can still, I can still remember the, the stinging sensation on my face. I just told oh him to God. bloody get out. And. That was it. I'm gonna be honest, that is extremely overkill. Because <sighs> normally it could okay, have I killed get me. Yeah, seriously. I mean, I know that hey, yeah, if he if he's in a heated argument, he's gotta at least be drunk or something, then he would throw a beer bottle. But No, him he not. Yeah. All I could say it's all I could say to that is That boy's got a lot of explaining to do to me. <laughs> I mean, uh, I know that he- you know I know he threw beer bottles and beer cans. Sometimes he'll shoot- shoot a bullet at somebody. But somebody's chemical! You don't do that! It's fucking common sense! <sighs> yeah, you don't do that exactly. unless you're throwing it at an enemy. And you really want him to scar him up, but no, you don't- I mean, I'm assuming he wasn't paying a bloody attention. <sighs> wow. <sighs> I think I'm gonna have a long talk with him too on that. But Trust at the same me. time, I've already got to told him his comp his sense. So yeah, still though, it's still questionable. But I'll be honest though, he's also been acting a little bit different though too. Cause I mean, well, he's cause initially when he and I first met, we were cool, we were chill. He had no issues with me, you know, doing my own thing and whatnot. And I let him do his thing. We sometimes work together. Even hell, pretty much, 
pretty much even though he gets cringed out by it, he doesn't care if I hang out with you. And vice versa when it comes to you. Exactly. But, however, I noticed that he had been acting a little different when I used to, he were used to be friends with this guy called Vortex. But then, uh. however, however, after a spat with that guy, after apparently I injured his so-called brother, he pretty much started throwing a hissy fit. Oh my god. I thought he'd be more mature than that, but nah. He threw a temper tantrum of a five-year-old and <laughs> pretty much ended oh, up... Oh, trust me. I, I know the feeling. He kept asking me to work on his bloody weapons. And I told him to wait a bloody fucking minute, you fucking twat. Give me one second. I'm busy with other things. <sighs> He's so impatient. He's stupid. That's what he is. And on top, and on top of it, too, once, <sighs> once obviously... Statement. When it's obviously Vortex finally, pretty much we find, pretty much we finally settled that yeah, we ain't communicating with one another. Pretty much Smolder seems more at ease, and then mm. and so that's why I find it a little bit odd that he suddenly, that he su that he suddenly went from being extremely protective and questionable at me to finally laying off. I don't know what is going on with that boy. I swear to God, if I find out that he has the hots for me, I'm going to be sick, and then I'm going to bonk him upside the head. If he pushes it any further, I'll slice him. I don't think that'll be the case, because I believe he knows your 80 ace. He does know that. Plus, he always keeps rubbing in my face and teasing me about whenever I hang out with Crisis. <sighs> but, though... It's making me question myself, and the thing is, I don't want all of a sudden Smolder pulling the I told you so card if, uh, well, uh, um... Oh god, how do I explain this? Uh, without sounding like a weirdo? I mean, I already sound like a weirdo anyways, without everybody teases me for being Arrow Ace. Eh. You can just say it. It's just us here. Alright, well... You know, you know I'm not the person to judge. Yeah. Well, apparently... Okay, let's just say, whenever I'm around Crisis, I feel something different with this guy. Because I felt like that, hey, I could be able to hang around him. I feel alright, no judgments, everything was all good, right? Well, however, after he pretty much saved my life when I had to deal with that cat, Steve, he pretty, mu pretty much he had to take care of me, made sure that, you know, I was all patched up and whatnot, and I was able to still be alive. Well, however, well, however, well, Vortex and I were still on talking terms. He pretty, pretty much, he was pretty much, he wound up saying something that made me nauseous. Apparently, then Crisis was like, you know what, I can fix that, and then booped me. I felt my heart race, and Vortex commented on how my face was turning red. Oh. And apparently, it didn't. Oh, nice. It didn't really click with me until, going on here. yeah, and then didn't really click with me until I had to deal with this damn fu fusion. That's pretty. T I'm assuming that is Vortex's counterpart, and this little yellow hedgehog. Apparently, the little yellow hedgehog and this guy were grossing me out with them kissing each other and whatnot while in the middle of a battle. And then they all of a sudden <laughs> got this form or whatever, angelic form, I guess is what they call it. And mm. then this, the yellow hedgehog said, "said Well, it was like we got something that you that you don't. We got true love." And then it started making me think about crisis. Uh, what is really going on? You know. No, I had a very similar conversation with Raza not too long ago. But did you know he's falling in love again? Ah, huh. And who's the uh lucky girl? Well, from what he have told me, it's a, some sort of some sort of purple and blue cat girl named Ember. Yeah, I heard about this Ember girl. I know that he, that, or she works with uh at Razzle's bar. I haven't really got a chance to meet the girl, but. All I can say about that is, if she is the one that makes him stop being a slut, okay, then I guess true love does exist, but 
I won't rub it in his face on that. I'll let him tell me if he's ready for it, because I know that, uh, with him, he's like, oh, I got a reputation to uphold and whatnot. Be like, well, now you know how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> so, back to what I was saying before. We, that we had a similar conversation. I think you are falling in love there as well. Um, despite you being erased. Well, the thing is, I never even, well, fell in love before. Well... That was the first time you most likely experienced it, it felt like. Maybe because... What did it feel like to you? I don't know. Seems like... It seemed like initially... Every day. Throughout my life, whenever I see couples, you know, holding... If I see them holding hands and whatnot, I'm not gonna bother them. But whenever they're kissing or making out or talking about... Ooh! Talking about that... I get sick. And you know... And you know I get sick whenever people do that. Razzle! definitely made me sick the most. But he laid off when he finally got the hint that he ain't getting this butt. But, however, when I saw, when I saw Crisis, I was comfortable with the guy. He was all, it was all right in my book. And whenever, and whenever I hang around with him, I feel safe. And he, and pretty much he did say that he want, he was willing to train, he was willing to train me to help me out, and hey, I'm willing to accept that offer, but at the same time... <sighs> something inside me is just saying I don't want him to. That I just wanna... I don't know. I just... I just wanna be around him. Is that what love is supposed to feel like? Hmm. Well... Did it make you have butterflies in your stomach? As they call it. I guess so. And that and also like sometimes my feeling in your chest. Yeah, sometimes yeah, I feel like something's fluttering in my stomach and my heart rate does go up a little bit. But however, whenever he when he did that electric boop on me, then that's when I felt my heart racing a lot more. Yep. That's a sign of you falling in love. Uh... Well, how can I fall in love when I'm Arrow Ace, though? Things can change. Hmm. Uh, again, I so just... Have to, like, you don't hmm? have to do any romantic things when you're in a relationship. It doesn't all have to be lovey-dovey, you know. Yeah. Well... At least as long as Crisis is understanding on that part. Either that or maybe... Eh. You know what? Probably... Probably... Sm Smolder may be right about one thing. Just haven't met the right person yet. True. Okay. Mm -hmm. <sighs> but... I don't want to at least say anything until I know for sure, because at the same time, although with me despising certain relationships, it takes two to tango. So if he actually does have a thing for me and not just doing it just to torture me, I think I can live with that, to be honest. Huh, I see. Also, I've I heard from Razzle you're in a certain predicament. Change the subject. Yeah, this is why. That's what I'm he actually here for. This predicament is okay. You're gonna call me crazy or whatnot, but apparently I got someone in my head that has been popping out several times. He told me the her name was some someone named Mira, right? Get I get guess so. I guess he actually heard the name before he decided to ditch me because. Pretty much what, hap what happened was, initially, it started off small where I was trying to go in for an attack on someone, but my arm just would not move. I thought maybe it was just muscles and whatnot. Nah, in instead, turned out that it was somebody that took over me completely, and the pretty much, right pretty much what had happened was that when Razzle was definitely a witness on that one, because apparently this thing took over and stabbed him. 
And then everything was kind of a bit of a blackout there, because apparently, I'm guessing this person may have saved this uh, girl Sky's life, and I was getting pretty agitated with somebody taking over me like that. Then, however, however, then I went over to another bar to try to at least try to ease the stress out. Met this guy called Drake Draco there. Apparently, whoever this bitch is, is in my head doesn't have a good reputation either, because apparently this guy knows this bitch. And, pretty, but then after, but then after that one, I went to go blow off some steam, destroyed a, destroyed a city, that's when I ran into that yellow hedgehog and that fusion guy, whatever, that looks like Vortex, and pretty much it was a heated battle, then this bitch took over me, and I could be able to hear her telling them, telling them to get out, and I still feel that punch, that, that, that cheap punch that that guy put on me, and her. So, interesting. So there was one more thing Razzle didn't mention. And I don't think you're going, I'm going to like hearing this name though. But I thought this should let you know. Anyway. There's an, as I said, Razzle felt a cold sensation. And well... There's an, I think I know who it is, but you're not going to like it. But I thought I should let you know, though. Razzle I think did... Mordred is returned. <laughs> Razzle did mention about this guy. <sighs> so the son of a bitch is still alive. <sighs> I didn't think he was alive either. Yeah, cause the last time I've seen him was when we were kids. Initially, we were close. We were really tight. He was my brother. But he threw it all away when, apparently, after a huge fight between our so-called parents, he suddenly became cold and turned away from me. Which led to that whore of a mother of ours to abandon me out in the middle of a forest. I feel like on Mordred's end, there's, I believe there could be more to the story. It's the eye. I don't care if there is more. I just want him to stay away from me. Especially because I don't like thinking or talking about my past when we should be focusing on the now. Well, maybe it might be a good thing to at least talk to him one last time to get closure and some answers. I don't want to think about that. Uh... Are you alright? That's the thing. I may have been betrayed by Vortex, but Mordred's betrayal was the most heartbreaking. That's why I prefer to leave everything as is and continue with what I do now. I don't want that guy going near me. Because, although I don't know if he actually has changed, I don't know if he opened his eyes and realized what happened. But honestly, I just want to leave it at that. Otherwise, who knows? He could also be somebody who could also be wrecking, wrecking my plans to try to liberate the multiverse. Well, like I said, it's probably a good thing you should have the closure. Because if you just... Just hold it, hold it all back. Well, I'm a little tipsy. I apologize, but like, what I'm trying to say. Well, if you're holding all those feelings in for so long, it's gonna end up biting you right in the ass again. If you don't confront this now. Well, right now the only thing I'm more worried about is that this bitch is gonna try to remerge once more. 
Hmm. I may have something for that. Actually. Please do, please do, please do. Uh, I just want to at least get her to shut up. <laughs> well. Also, by the way, it, don't mind the pink that's from a, a little bit of a failed experiment before that. I went wrong, I have to clean that up. Uh, okay. So just bad interior decoration. Got it. Oh yeah, I forgot to I forgot to put the gun in here. <laughs> ah. <laughs> well, I don't blame you for having one here. Just in case somebody tries to break in and steal okay. all your shit. Uh-huh. But hmm. don't worry, I have secured the cameras. Hey. Well, I was gonna say, just okay. shoot him and bury him. <laughs> but that works too. Hmm. Okay, I have an idea though. Quick question. How do you take your alcohol? I take it as strong as I can. Don't worry, I have a strong tolerance. Alright then. Then, let's see. Yeah, I think you may want to hurry, she won't shut up. Alright, alright, alright. So... Go! be easier to, to uh, put down. There. Uh. Alright, what is this second was supposed it to do? Help. It should keep her tamed for a little while. She won't be able to control you. Okay. Is this permanent or is it... No, it's only for, for right now, it's only for a certain period of time. So, I would say at least maybe... A three week for now until I can get the bit of a stronger dose. Well, three weeks is better than three days. <sighs> How do you feel? Better now that she ain't talking in my head. <laughs> I think it hmm. worked. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Thanks. Take that off for you. <laughs> I'm here for now. Oh. Now that's probably taken care of for now. <laughs> what do you what? plan to do? Well, first off, I gotta, I gotta have a word with Razzle as well. That way I can at least get a better, clearer understanding as to why the hell he ditched me. But at least I know where his bar is at, so I'll probably bother him there. <laughs> <laughs> but as for well, you might meet this ember like ember cat there as well. Maybe. But who knows? Yeah, as for as for Mordred. I'll take what you say under consideration. Cause at least if Because if it happens to be that he's was that pretty much he was just going off of what he saw and what he heard, then there definitely needs to be some clearing up. But otherwise, if he attacks, I'll stab him right back. That's bad enough. <sighs> but, anyways, thanks again, Raisin. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, you know, I gotta at least do it once. Yeah, I know, but... Hmm? You smolder and rather know my weak spots, my hair. Oh. Well, hey, that's why I try to at least do it lighter, okay? Because I'm only just trying to at least show my appreciation, not try to, well, I stir know, you up. <laughs> yes, yes, I know. Understandable. Understandable. 
All right. Uh, <sighs> I'll see you later, Razor, and I'll let you know if uh, something else happens with that uh, medicine you gave me. <laughs> of course, of course. All right. See ya. Be careful now, love. You too. Stay out of trouble. Don't get caught. And if you do, well, blow them up. <laughs> ah, well, at least Raisin saved the day once again. Now time to go find this Razzle guy. There we go. Everything all good? Yeah, I just... Uh, freaking pet peeves. People coming in without knocking. Long manners, people! Jeez. <laughs> <sighs> Alright. All right, anyways. Also, you dropped right, so. the can. I know, I did for, for a reason. Don't worry. <laughs> she already dropped the can anyway. Okay. So, but anyways. Cut. Exactly. Cut. <laughs> Apparently, apparently, Sky, <laughs> Sky's back. <laughs> Did we ask what happened? I'm sorry. It's okay. Are what you invisible? Happened, Are you okay? Yeah. Oh, I'm here. I had to go. Well, what, happened, to hurry up. <laughs> what happened, though? What happened, though? What happened, I, though? I don't know. Okay. Oh, it's probably just internet. It's, it's probably just internet. No worries. But hey, at least Sky's invisible, okay. so I can't I can't see her unless I open the menu. Okay, we're good. <laughs> All right. Yes. Okay. Hey, right, Velva. Oh, people again. Oh boy. <laughs> Hang tight, ladies and gents. Apparently, people don't know when to not walk in on people when they're recording. Okay, that was a short one. Okay, good. <laughs> continue. Okay. All right. Continue. continue. <laughs> Do, 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 do. People, why won't you leave the cookie alone? <laughs> Ow, fuck! <laughs> Meanwhile, you hear Skylar Blue in the background hurting herself for some strange reason. Why? I pulled the chill, god damn it. <laughs> you pulled the chill and you're not in the video! <laughs> I, I, I fell off my bed! <laughs> <laughs> Well, okay, that's not pulling a chill, that's an opposite, because Chilled had at least fell on his bed. <laughs> Are we okay? Don't have Get your sword on, please stab me, please. Just stab me, please. <laughs> why? Why? <laughs> what? Okay, what happened? What happened? I'll do it for you. Here. Oh, what? Eh? Oh. Oh, yeah, she stabbed you. Uh. <laughs> And I hear did I hear a but nugget? You're invisible. <laughs> no, that was a that was a Dora. A Dora? Okay. <laughs> That's a doggy. Doggy! A doggy. Dora the doggy! Yay! First first debut in the bloopers, ladies and gents. Anyways. <laughs> but for but because I'm gonna have to do some cuts here, ladies and gents, let's just say the reason being why you're seeing so many cuts is mainly because poor Cookie had to deal with people that won't stop walking into her recording space. Exactly. <laughs> <sighs> Anyways, all right. So, if you do end a relationship, it doesn't have to be lovey dovey. You could just ease right into it. God damn it, Thor! Loud. Dago, we're in the middle of something. Anyways, as Dor calm she down. Wants to go upstairs, but she has to be down here for a bit. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Oh. Well, doggo bloopers, ladies and gents. <laughs> yes. Okay, go ahead. Alright. Three, two, one. Dora, stop! <laughs> God damn it, Dora, you're ruining it! <laughs> you're ruining it! <laughs> She's whining! <laughs> First a stink bug, then a nugget, now the Dora. Sky, are you still alive? Yep. <laughs> Caught that snort. Anyways. <laughs> All right. Anyway, that's what I was saying. Go All ahead. right. Anyways. Dora, oh, swear to God. Doggo, settle down, Dora. 
She is whining so bad. Oh, she, I swear, I hate this. I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's okay. I'll just put the I'll put the audio ears. There we go. La 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 la. Uh, I'm too frustrated to feel phantom sense at the moment. That's okay. <laughs> I'm too frustrated. It's okay. All right, continue. Okay. Yeah.